Good morning, folks. Last night you had a can't miss video, and today you've got another one. We'll get to that with the rest of the top stories, but we begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Be not fooled by the brightness of the active region. It has no sunspots and solar flaring is flatlined again. Coronal holes continue marching through, and in 304 angstroms we can see that the filaments were having a ball whipping around the corona. Not much in the way of releases producing CMEs, however. Looking to the solar wind, we have taken a drop in stream intensity back to slightly above average marks, geomagnetism responding in kind with an exhale. It is noteworthy that the Earth did not connect to that coronal hole yesterday. Interplanetary magnetic fields streamed Earth to Sun. We had no big earthquakes the last 24 hours, and up in blue, see the steady 360-degree phi angle hasn't been down to 180 in days. That will indeed signify the seismic alert when it happens. Let's go next to L.A., where they've had nearly double the average precipitation for the season thus far. That'll be nice come springtime. I caught an ever-misguided attempt to spin the record cold into a global warming picture. Now's a great time to remind everyone about former NASA scientist Dr. Roy Spencer, one of a number of insiders crusading against preposterous stories like the previous one. He's also gone ahead and pulled the temperature data, since NOAA hasn't even given us December's data yet. That is the drop in temps the last few years we've been talking about, after the record El Nino ever, which came just years after the second place El Nino ever each of which has a 10-year heat lag effect, too. Let's go to the sun next and look at a light bridge captured by Iris. These electrical highways slice sunspot umbra in half and often into deeper segmentations. And an incredible fine detail, Hinode magnetic analysis reveals that indeed they are like oppositely charged paths through the greater sunspot polarity. This is like the extreme version of magnetic rail trains just on a sunspot. Interesting article out detailing how extreme events are patterned worldwide, and often this includes the inexplicable skipping of some regions, despite assuredness that the extremity will return on the other side of the area. That happens in the Middle East all the time. A new study claims to conclusively determine that all the land on which we stand currently began as mountains. The plains of today are ancient and stabilized, though often more brittle, but that is merely a function of time. Now let's go to the top three stories of the day starting with Dr. Robitaille at Sky Scholar. In what might be his most lasting effort, if successful, there is an antenna in Armenia that can debunk the Big Bang, the only one ever made. They never built another one like it. They shut it down, and they ignored the results of the top scientists working there. Now, a generation later, a phoenix has the chance at rebirth with all of our help. I'll be diving in deep this year, but you all need to get familiar now. His video is linked below. Up next... Rogue waves might be as simple as mapping the sea floor. While unpredictable in timing and location, it seems there may be other ways to forecast the massive waves using distance tracking, along with that greater understanding of the sea floor variability. Last but not least, this is going to be a deeper look episode on the website today. A potentially new evidence of a great solar event or even galactic wave recorded in crystal. Inexplicable by standard cosmological explanations, but wild enough to require one. A wide range of energy input positive charge rare anomaly. That is a current effect, and it must have been driven from the outside. We greatly appreciate your support. That Deeper Look episode will come in a few hours later today under your premium section. Suspiciousobservers.org memberships are the number one way these news keep coming out every day. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.